Oh, hello everybody, and welcome to the inaugural return of me. Now, I can't promise you things are going to be good. We're going to have some good times, we're going to have some bad, some laughing, some crying. But in the end, it's all going to be worth it. My goal is to eventually get someone so entertained, so consumed by my videos that they lose their job. That's what I want. When I get my first email saying I lost my job because I enjoy you so much, then I know I have won and I'll finally stop. And that person can get their job back eventually, maybe. But anyway, here we are playing some La Mulana. Uh, recently released on Steam. We're looking at a good old platform and action game here. Got a lot of puzzles, a lot of devious traps. But uh, let's just get cracking, man. This is the uh, the elder here. He's gonna tell us what we gotta do. But uh, most of the time, he just comes out with some nonsense. Now, I'm not gonna go too deep into this stuff because uh, I'm not too interested in all that. I've uh, I've actually beat this game once before. This will be probably my fourth attempt at getting through the remake here. I actually lost my six-hour-long save file. Uh, recently, so that's why I'm restarting here. But uh, that's for your benefit, right? Uh, here we go. We got some little email on our little computer. Uh, for some reason, he carries around a laptop with him uh, instead of some sort of smartphone or something that could do all these nice uh, functions for him. Got some software that gives you little bonuses and stuff like that. And of course, our inventory here. But uh, all boring. No one cares about menus. Let's get good cracking. You're here to watch me uh, kill some bats and some birds and stuff. So, no, no Dracula in this game, like uh, in Castlevania. But uh, a lot of the enemies are the similar. With these damn curvy flying fools. Whoa, look at that guy. Uh, we are currently standing on top of the ruins here, but I'm just going to go this way. I think there's some gold back this way. It's been a, It's been a while since I've last played. And then despite actually beating the original game that this was based on, uh, I don't remember all too much about it once we get past the first two or three areas. I am very familiar with the beginning, though. Uh, this particular chest. You can't actually open chests in this game with your, your hands. You have to do some nice little puzzles here and there. Just put a little block on that little pedestal there, weigh it down. Sort of like a Indiana, Indiana Jones there. This is just your basic shell horn, like in uh, Zelda, when you get the little boo -boo noises whenever you uh, be puzzled. But uh, we're just gonna keep going up this here mountain here. This dog keeps emailing me, man. So needy. He just uh, writes and says it's me, as if we're close enough to get to that kind of level. He's an old man. I just met him this morning, and he's already. Pulling this crap on me? Come on. We don't even have uh, answering machines yet. Ooh. Little bird action there. Actually, I don't, I don't think I even need to be here anymore. I think I've exhausted this area of what it. Oh, wait, here we go. A little money. You want to get a nice chunk in the beginning of the game, get the items you need. There's little shops in town and whatnot. You see my little health bar at the top left there. It's uh, it's got some room to grow. It's just a little infant baby, a little health bar there, the green spot. And no, that's not a mana bar beneath it. That's actually an experience bar. There are no RPG elements to this game. You just get uh, you get healed whenever you level up. It can be useful in certain areas, certain when you when you get really far in between these kind of checkpoint kind of things. You want to heal up here and there. I'm gonna pop on over here, drop a weight. Oh, I just skipped the cutscene by accident to show you this nice little statue. Look at that statue. Ah, we didn't miss anything important. Tiny little block here, fell out. Uh, oh, I think it revealed this ladder, now that I think about it. That obviously wouldn't have been there before. Or we could just uh, climb down. Just gonna pop on down to the depths. Do I? No, never mind. What's gonna be behind the block? Oh, oh, I can't. It's 
It's a, it's a block. A block with writing on it. Can't use that yet. This is actually the entrance. You can see my little G-Man thing down there. Just barely. Oh, man. I'm nervous, guys. All the pressure. All the pressure from all the... the I can hear you guys listening. It's very quiet out there. You're not laughing. You're not having any fun right now. Uh, you're thinking, oh, this guy's boring. Oh, his voice is stupid. I, oh, my goodness. And I'm... I'm I hear you. Those are all valid complaints. I'm not going to argue with you there. You're probably right. Whoa, that chest just opened by itself. The sacred orb. How the hell? I don't know if that was supposed to come out yet, but uh, a sacred orb uh, it permanently increases your health, as you can see, it went from 38 to 64 there. And I got another email. This guy just won't stop. Ooh, do you feel stronger with that orb? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I would like to open up the floor to any kind of advertiser, people that want to give me money, uh, maybe gifts of some sort. It doesn't have to be money. It's really anything for free. Um, that's you know not PC. It's like something you would throw at somebody because you're mad at them, basically. Uh, I'm willing to offer you know 95% of the screen real estate to you uh, I'll take a I'll, I'll reside in the little corner at the top and then rest me for the ads and then you know my loyal listeners they'll, they'll be there for you listening to your car commercial just because they like me so much they're just gonna listen to me and uh, take out a little microscope watch the video but that's fine because you're making money I'm making money no well or, mm, pizzas or something whatever you want to give me just you didn't message me on on YouTube. You know, let me just let me know. Just let me know. Uh, really, any? Oh, sh oh, oh, that looks bad. That's embarrassing. This game, one of the big uh, draws of it is how punishing it can be and how it, it kind of makes up its own rules. Like uh, as you saw there, it was kind of fast, but I accidentally whipped this big block here. Uh, whenever there's like a lot of statues and kind of religious things or uh, significant cultural stuff, if you just go around smacking it, knocking it upside the head, bombing it, you know, you, you get punished by I guess the gods or or something like that. So I just got smoked by some lightning for smacking that. Not not really what you want to do, but we're just gonna keep going here. And I, I feel like I missed something critical. I, f I remember in the old game, you can actually buy a hand scanner to read all these damn tablets, and uh, in the original game I think it cost 100, oh it was only 20 coins. It's only 20 coins, I keep falling in the trap. I need to go back to town guys. I forgot a really critical part of the game here, and oh I was just nervous. I'm just not ready, I wasn't, I'm not prepared for this at all. I didn't really put any work into it. I'm just la I'm lazy, but I do really want free uh, ice cream. If Blue Bell wants to put that, but uh, anyway, we're gonna go back to town, and we're gonna grab. We're gonna pay a little dosh for a hand scanner. I'm getting beat up here, but uh, when I return to town, Mr. Zelpud, the elder, in that little tent, he's gonna give me a little healing up, top me off. Uh, hopefully not in Zelda 2 style. Don't really want to, you know, what an old man. Uh, uh, this. Anyway, anyway, we're just gonna go back down. We're gonna grab a hand scanner. Uh, show you what that's up about. Up with that about. Then we can, uh, for some reason, um, can actually read these tablets, look at them, interact with them anyway. He needs a big magnifying glass with the with a computer chip on it to actually understand those kind of things. We're just gonna keep on going up. At the top right, uh, you can see my my coin counter, and uh, the one next to that's my weights, which are used in a lot of different puzzles throughout the game. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, you probably won't, because I will. But you won't, because you probably not even you, you didn't even watch the rest of this. You're gonna stop right here, probably. Blah blah blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hang on. I can do this. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, it's only 10 coins now. I could have gotten that like 20 minutes ago. I just wasted everybody's time. But I guess that's uh, probably going to be uh, how it goes. Uh, a lot of wasting time. A lot of doing nothing. 
not not to the game's fault, but mostly for me uh, being an idiot, not knowing what I'm doing, forgetting everything like I already have. But uh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Oh, it's crunched. Flip flopped on my back there. I actually, need to equip the stupid thing. Hand scanner, small scanner used in conjunction with laptop allows text on various tablets to be scanned and read. How sweet is that shit? Move this out of the way. Let's read this by those entering the ruins. Beware. They. They. Lurk within the land of ordeals. Death awaits the powerless. They will speak only to those who have learned the seven histories and overcome the challenges herein. Seven histories are basically referring to uh, seven kind of temples or dungeons, as it were. Each has an individual, you know, theme, boss, and kind of stuff like that. Basically, you know, kind of beat all Zelda style, really, you know, go through all the stuff, collect the item, this is the boss. And then they have tablets that you can you can see the writing on them. You can see it right there. I can see it with my own eyes, but uh, whenever you scan it, nothing on it. And there are also uh, the ruins kind of have their own civilization and language and stuff whatnot. So you actually need a translator to uh, read certain tablets. That I think is honor coins. That's gonna be a toughie. Kind of have to uh, grind it up a bit for that one. Cool thing you can actually read. I guess this is like the dead's last thoughts here. I'm reading the skeleton. I reading this. I I don't know what he's doing, but uh, a lot of times these skeletons will kind of give you tips on how they died. Maybe alert you to some sort of trap or their final thoughts that kind of help you out. Even little tippy tips. That guy just complaining about being hungry or something. Give me a second to read it on your own. I don't, you, you probably don't want my stupid voice narrating everything when you're trying to read. But we're gonna keep going. Maybe not so much for you, but uh, at least for me to remember what the hell I'm doing here. I don't want to drop on the skeleton, but I did anyway. He just sat there. He's supposed to move over. We really need a translator. Those tablets are special tablets that allow you to teleport between the ones you found, and I think they count as a checkpoint in case you die. I don't need to go that way anymore. So I think we're just going to go, uh, we're going to get a teleport device, the item that lets us use those teleport tablets, and then we're going to go buy, we're going to buy the proof reader, so we can uh, read those damn tablets. And I'm going to a little spoiler for you. This, uh, this little trappy here. Oh, I spoiled it already. Or I guess he spoiled it. Look at that. Obvious trap. When you put a weight on that, the guy's jaw falls down and crushes you with this little statue up here. For uh, for damn lions with spider backs, not very hard to kill. They're even easier than those little jumping wallabies. Ooh, look at that one through spikes. What does this one do? Ooh, just a Rooney. Nah, don't need it. I know it back like the palm of my hand. This is just a this is this is a shambles, isn't it? This is the worst recording on earth. I don't even know if I I don't remember if I told you the name of this game. What are you here for? Are you still listening? Because you shouldn't be. This is awful. Jesus, I am. Ugh. Whoa. Okay, I thought that platform was active there. It was not. I just fell way too far down. And we're getting a little grim on life here. Let's go back up. Yeah, bats. God, I hate bats, man. Bats and anything are the fucking worst. And the, the one thing I can at least I can be thankful for is there's no damn Medusas in this game. So I think the weight... Act oh, I got rid of the laser beam up there. Whoa, did it again. You can activate that platform, and I'm used to it being active, that's why I keep jumping there. My prior knowledge of this game is really starting to hurt me. Those little uh, green orbs, I believe, are experienced. That's actually new with the remake, and I can't remember what they're for right now. The manual you get in this game is t completely crazy in how poorly translated it is. And I, I didn't read it, I'll be honest. Oh my goodness! Okay, we're just gonna go down. We're gonna go down. I, I can't do it. I can't make the jump. I'm gonna disappoint you guys. 
can't read any of these. Look at these rats. You get a little close to them, they go nuts. Oh, this is like uh, the creeper before creepers, you know? Cliff of Radiance. That statue down there is going nuts. Usually they only do that whenever you smack him up a little bit, but he's just he's just doing his own little thing. Ooh, broke the wall. Oh, I am just cracking under pressure. The pressure of entertaining is too much. I can't make these simple jumps. What's he got for me? A guild detects hidden stores via sound. Really don't need that. Some weights in case we're getting low, but... You can usually kind of farm those out. Whoa, whoa! Ambush from out the door is cowardly. Little rats. Some more experience. Now we need to get down there. We've got to activate a ladder beneath that to get in there. But, uh, how do you do it? We'll find out later. This, these, these dungeons are just totally maze-like. Lots of little ways in between this and that. Very confusing. Really got to learn it. Because those maps, if I remember right, are just squares. I don't know if I can use it right now. I don't remember how to get the map. Jesus, I should have played this game before I tried to, uh, actually put it on video. And by play it, I mean practice. Oh, I hit the the cliff! The cliff is oh! We're now at a depressingly low 6 health. Oh! Oh! Red skeletons! We need to get out of here. If we can get back to town, we can maybe we can heal up. Boy, it's looking grim. I'm dead. I thought I could take him out before he would turn around and hit me, but I... oof. So we gamed over already. You've just witnessed a, uh, a wonderful playthrough. That's it. That's the game. Uh, whew, it was a fun ride while it lasted, but I guess that's the end of the road for me. Uh, mm, okay, I guess I'll just skip ahead a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll save you the pain of watching me do all that again, and I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay, I uh, I went back, grabbed all the stuff I needed to get, got the coins, we're going to go back and uh, grab the glyph reader that we need to actually make some progress in this game. Critical, very critical. And I just realized I've gone, it was 18 minutes or so, and I haven't even told you what I think about this game. Let me tell you, for $15, uh, oh my goodness, you could not possibly go wrong here. I played through the original Lamulana, which is is essentially the same as this, just the graphics are different, and this has a little more stuff to help streamline. I think some of the translating on the tablets is a little better to help you kind of understand, because some of the puzzles in this game are absolutely mind-bending, or completely obtuse, that it's really impossible to do without a guide. At least some of them I found that way when I was a young scrap. I think I beat the original game when I was in 11th grade, summer break. Man, it's one of the most memorable experiences of my life. The game, the game treats you fair. It's it's incredibly challenging. It's very Dark Souls in that respect. If you have experienced that, where it's just really tough, it's unforgiving. It makes up its own rules. It kind of goes out of the conventions of normal game design, but it just makes it so much more rewarding when you succeed at things. I would give this a perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, the original game was freeware at the time. This game's 15 bucks. I would probably put it on my top three of all time, up there with Doom and Dark Souls. Also a big favorite for me. This is just, it's an experience on top of a game. It's amazing. I highly recommend that you play it. Uh, I actually went through my very first run through this game with another Let's Player. Or not with him, but watching his videos, trying to help me out and kind of experiencing it with him in a weird way. It's probably sounds lame and, ner lame and nerdy, but uh, I, a very memorable part of my life. But uh, let's get cracking here. Now we have Glyph Reader. Now that we have the Glyph Reader installed on our laptop, we can read these tablets. Tablets are written by the kind of ancient people who used to live here and do what they do, whatever those ancient fools do, eat fruit and make spears. Like, uh, but it, it, a lot of times, very cryptic descriptions of things, uh, kind of the history behind certain areas or, or enemies or statues, uh, 
kind of the whole culture is in there, along with a lot of puzzle information and kind of warnings, tips and tricks. It's like a big strategy guide, these things, if you put them all in a big package. Let's go check out that nice... I don't know. Whatever. We'll just check it out. Behold the Gate of Guidance. Basically, this is kind of like a... Uh, it gives you, it tells you what it is, and you can use it to uh, teleport. But I, I, okay, I don't have the item for it yet. You just sent me an email, but I, I got the like. Okay, whatever. I need to go get the item to let me use. I need to go get the Grail. The Grail lets me use those what are called Grail checkpoints, Grail Grail tablets, and they let you teleport. We can, uh, we can go back to the main town. Uh, there's one there, and we can go back and forth, and then we'll get one for each area as well. Mm, let me just try to remember where it is. Oh, I didn't grab the map on my, my little solo playthrough. But I hope I didn't lose you already. I, uh... I am pretty go okay at games. I, I know what I'm doing. I know how to do it. It's just sometimes I can't perform. I don't show up. Why did he show up? You know what I mean? Ooh. I guess I should be reading these. I, I, I tend to skip the ones at the beginning of the game, because I've read them so many times. I've been through the beginning of the game a lot, and I know all these puzzles pretty pretty well. Until we get to a certain point, of course. Uh, here's the kind of tip that tells you what to do in this room. It shall connect once held in the mouth. When one swallows, the other spits it out. So, you see this block here. This is actually the activation uh, key to the platform that here that you can see kind of recessed in the background. That'll start moving up one, one, up and down once I actually activate this. By s basically I'm going to smack it and knock it into his mouth. Once he swallows it, the other one spits it out or whatever it said. So now this is active and this is going to go up and down. That's the platform I keep falling on. Because I'm used to it being up. The grail is actually in that chest. We have to get that block onto... Let me show you here. Grab some dash. That little gray spot usually means that you need to place a block on top, and there's a little cross block there, right next to it. We'll get that in just a minute. I'm gonna wait for this platform to come back up. And we're gonna check out that door that I couldn't get loaded to last time. The suspense is probably killing you. Oh, look at these. These guys are actually described as uh, some sort of con connection between a frog and a blob of acid or something in the manual. They're pretty cute. I like them. Eight spirits dwell in the land. The guardians are basically the like they said, protecting the grounds, but they're also the base of the bosses. The kind of uh, the guys that rule these areas, and they can only be revealed with onks, which are items we get. Well, and then he kind of tells you where this one is. The Cliff of Radiance. That's the thing that shocked the shit out of me a minute ago. That thing did about 30 damage to me. That's about half my health. Not so good. We're just gonna make some negative process here. Progress, yeah. God, I really don't want to read all those. It takes a long time. And I'll just, I, I kind of guide you along the way. I don't want to take from the experience of you doing it yourself. Oh, look at that. I'm on an invincible platform. All this is happening so fast for you, isn't it? Oh, it's just because I know it so well. It's, it's just habit. Oh, I shouldn't have gone that way. I think I missed the, uh, the descriptor for that particular puzzle. Blah, 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 blah. You can read those on your own playthrough, because you should be buying this game right now. In fact, uh, just don't even watch this right now. Just go immediately buy this game, play it. You can come back to me anytime. I'll always be here for you. Don't worry. And if you need the sweet tips to help you get through, baby, I got you, man. I got you. Oh, I did it again. I cannot get through that part there. I keep forgetting. You can actually go through. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just All right. Uh, this is another puzzle. I believe the one of those stones up above me says something about don't fear death. And uh, it looks like, ooh, if I drop down, I'm gonna jump to those spikes and die, like this fella. Who just, I guess, starved to death thinking about jumping down there. But oh wait! It's fake. It's just a trap to kind of screw with you. Just kind of, that's a really good uh, indication of how this game kind of, kind of does its thing. 
what what game would make you jump into spikes like that? Just willy nilly. So actually from that we got our first sub weapon. The Shriririken. Look at that, look at how fast he throws that thing. Oh high speed Whoa! You, did you even catch that on film? My goodness, that was That was oh I keep using the mic accent here. The fell on the platform again. Jeez. God. I hope I don't uh, start screaming. I, I, I have little patience for certain things in this game, and there's some really nasty areas where you just keep getting knocked down and knocked down. Uh, if you've ever played Castlevania 3, it's, or any of the Castlevanias where it's when you get knocked around, you kind of lose control of your character, and you can't control yourself in air, so you just get knocked off of shit all the time. It gets a little rough. So hopefully I keep this uh, PG for you guys. I want to upset the ladies. If you well, there's no ladies listening. Guys, if you want to pretend you're ladies, I'm okay with that too. I do. Uh, I do the occasional cyber sex if you catch my drift. But uh, euphemisms aside, oh, I didn't even hit this thing here. Just oversight after oversight here. Yeah, I, I should have done that before. I don't remember what that one does, actually. Crunch. Fell on the back. Let's check out this platform up here. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? No way! I'm out of weight! Come on! I had a surplus, man! Let's go get some weights. I... Ugh. We're gonna go down. We're gonna way down. I'm gonna fall into some spikes. Flop. Okay, it's okay, we got plenty of health. Spikes don't actually hurt that much. It's that, that electricity, man. Not a big fan of that. We're actually about to level up, we might as well just get the health. Now nah, we'll save it later. Now, uh, these broken ruins, or broken tablets rather, sometimes uh, also have messages, but they come in kind of scribbly scrabbly. Just kind of have to guess at what you're doing there. Oh, I'm out of weights. Keep forgetting. There we go. Level up. Got my health back. This uh, this is referring to the giants, which uh, the giants. Yeah, this little thing here. This is actually some sort of transition. That'll go to the second area of the game, or what I consider the second area of the game. This game is pretty open-ended, where you can kind of go to wherever you want to, as long as you have the proper items, sort of like Metroid. But there's sort of a, a suggested sequence of things. So, this is our first area, we want to do this first, and then we'll go down to the Tool of the Giants, which is just referred to in that tablet. But for now, we're going to stick here. Let's see, this takes me to the pit. Where is that puzzle solution at? Is it on that thing? Nothing's on this thing. This room over here... Wait, is this it? Oh! Look at that, here's the puzzle solution for the room to our left. So we got flood, wind, fire, sky. That just basically represents these little elements here. Watch out for that guy. Okay. So we just gotta kinda destroy these in sequence to unlock a little something something. And it was flood. Wind. Fire and I is that one below me supposed to be air? That looks like a it looks like blood to me. Oh stupid thing. If you can hear that noise, I think that was the success noise. Yeah, we got the ladder. We're doing good, we're doing good. So we're doing totally awesome and I don't have a weight. Never mind, we're not making no we're not making any progress at all. I've got three pedestals I gotta hit, man. And there's the guy in there sells them! So I just gotta get one- God, that's annoying. I could have plenty if I could just get in that little area we unlocked last time. Oh, I didn't want to go this way. Just, this is... <sighs> Are you being entertained right now? Is this... Is this good? Do you want more of this? Because it kind of... Seems shitty. I'm having fun, though. Uh, really? Who comes first, me or you? I mean, think about it for just a minute. I, you know, I'm doing this for me. Now that I think about it, I, 
That's not true, I'm doing it for the money. I will make money. There's gonna be plenty of money made. I'm gonna be getting TV deals. I'll be on the next big sitcom. You'll see me up there. Seinfeld's gonna come back out of retirement just for me. Oh, I did it again! I was just hitting buttons. I meant to run. I really need some weights, guys. We've lost too much weight. This guy's going ape shit on me! Holy cow, that guy's tough. Luckily, we killed this guy from the floor. After losing all of our health, I can't survive another one of those little battles there. I don't remember those guys being so difficult. Hopefully, we took quite some weights in these pots and pans. Alright, so we got a little uh, block puzzle here. Let me just check this pot real quick. Jeez Louise. I'm exhausted already. Hmm. Let me think about this for a minute. Let me think. I need to get two down there. Yeah, okay. Everybody does now. Basically, we're just trying to get one of these three blocks down onto that gray pad. All of one of these god darn bats. Man. This game is pretty slow paced, I'll warn you. Uh I don't really have anything to I I jeez, oh, I'm so boring. Okay, are you gonna be able to sit through this for this game is about six at least the freeware version that I played ages ago. It took me sixteen hours to beat the first game, beat the first playthrough rather. 16 hours, man. That's a long time to spend with me. Uh, you, you have to be dedicated. Jesus, I mean, I might have to give out t-shirts or some sort of award. It's less of a reward, it's more of a, uh, I'm obligated to give you something, because I guess it could go down in Ripley's Believe It or Not, or, or the the almanac, whatever it is, the records almanac, I can't remember the name of it right now. Just for you being, oh. I mean, this is just, I mean, what would the record be called? Most times sat through something boring and un unentertaining, if that's even a word. And the record would be for you. And I, <clears throat> we'll, we'll figure out something to give you. Oh, we finally unlocked that thing. I was just talking away. Holy grail! Monty and his python searched for ages for that stupid thing, but, uh... I mean, it, it would took this guy, what? 10 minutes, 20 minutes? And he did, he just... He doesn't seem too happy about it, he's just going on his way, you know. He's gonna head up back to town, get some grub, eat up with the, uh, the elders, you know? Let me, uh, go... Yeah, look at this, I can teleport. I don't have, you don't have to watch me go all the way up. I'm gonna take a little shorty shortcut. Look at that, quick save. Isn't that a beaut? Item button. Where's my item button? Oh, look at that. There we go. We're just going to turn the service here. I don't think there are any items we need. There is actually a healing area that I'm going to go to. I'm feeling a little, a little bloody. A little battered, even. Scrapings and scrapings. More items. Get this shield roo waterproof case. You can't actually use laptops underwater. Can you believe it? There's actually a lava proof case in this game. We'll worry about that later. Keep our laptop nice and safe, guys. Come on. Let's look at it real quick. Does it. Can you even see a picture of it? I mean, it's. Really. I, I don't have. An interface here, it's just a little bitty... I mean, we're still using EXEs here. This is just old school. This guy's lug... This laptop probably weighs about 20 pounds. Those things were so heavy back in the day. He's a trooper, though, man. Look at this. This is our healing point. This one block by one block spring. It is hot, though. Look at that. Feels good. Feels real good. We're just gonna go back to town. I'm gonna go save it, guy. Yeah, you. One guy listening still, who's made it through the rest of this video. That's my fan. That's my one guy. My one subscriber video will be coming soon in commemoration of you, sir. 
Uh, maybe I can give away some prizes to all the listeners, which would just be you. So you can just keep watching. You'll be the only one that even has access to the prize. Oh, look at that little... I didn't even know that tutorial was there. That's useful. I didn't even know how to save. I was gonna. I was about to ask you guys. Like 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of just shit. Oh, boy. Stay tuned next time. When I come back. Boy, it's gonna be... Oh, it might even be less entertaining if that's even possible. We're going for records here. Stay tuned, guys.